Hello everyone, welcome to the informatical video. This is Ashutosh Sao from Informatical GCS and today we are going to discuss how to apply the EPF on the Exxon instance. Before proceeding further, let's discuss the agenda for the today's video. Following our agendas for the today's video, first we will see the steps to install the EPF and then we will show the demo to install the EPF on Exxon instance. To apply the EPF, we need to transfer the EPF to the same server where Exxon is installed and enter the EPF file on the server. Then, we need to edit the input properties and provide the Exxon installation directory path as a value to the destination directory parameter. After that, we need to shut down the Exxon instance using the shutdown command. Once the Exxon instance is shut down, we can apply the EPF by running the EPF installer.sh under the EPF directory. Once the EPF is applied, we can start the Exxon instance using the startup.sh script and run the reindexing using the reindex script under the script directory of Exxon installation directory. Let's see the demo to apply the EPF on the Exxon instance. Here, I have logged in into the Exxon server and moved the EPF tar file to the current directory. Let's enter this EPF tar file. Once the EBF has been entered, we need to edit the input.properties file. And provide the Exxon installation directory as a value to the destination directory. Once the file is saved, we need to shut down the Exxon instance by using the shutdown command. Once the Exxon has been shut down, we need to go to we need to run the installer file from the EBF directory. Once the EBF is applied, we need to start the Exxon using the startup command. Once the Exxon is started, we need to run the reindexing script under the script directory. Once the reindexing is completed, we can verify the Exxon service is up and running by executing Exxon status script under the third party app scripts directory and check the applied EBF entry at ebfhistory.info file under Exxon home directory. In case of any queries regarding this video or any other video, please contact us using the below ways. Thank you for watching the video.